In this video, we'll look at how to create a new project for Illuminated Cloud from within IntelliJ IDEA. Start by creating a new project as normal. Make sure that the selected project type is Illuminated Cloud. And now we can create a new connection. I'll call mine Dev because it's going to be my development organization. Now type in your credentials. If you'd like to change the API version, you can do that here. And let's validate the credentials. Okay. Now we can choose what metadata will be placed in the project. In this case, I want to be very specific. So Illuminated Cloud is going to list all the metadata in the org for selection. Let's grab all Apex classes, components, pages, and triggers one specific custom object, and all static resources. Now we can choose where in the file system the project and the module will be placed. The defaults are fine. We can also choose what action should be taken when the wizard finishes. We can have it retrieve the metadata we just selected from the org into the file system. If we have local source, we can have it deploy that metadata into the org. And either way, we can have it generate the offline symbol table. We'll have it retrieve and generate. So now Illuminated Cloud is retrieving the metadata that we selected in the previous screen. That metadata won't be placed directly into our source root. Instead, it's going to be displayed in IDEA's directory comparison tool. If we had local metadata, we could compare it and select what subset we wanted here. But because we just created a new project, and because we specifically selected a subset of metadata, we'll just synchronize all. Now it's generating the offline symbol table. The offline symbol table is for all intents and purposes the SDK for Apex development. It includes all system Apex classes, all system S object types, and any custom classes and object types that might be installed through managed packages or as unmanaged content that you did not select in the previous screens. Illuminated Cloud is going to build a set of indices that are going to make operations like completion and navigation fast and efficient. While it's doing that, let's look at what it retrieved. These are the classes that we selected, components, custom objects, pages, static resources, triggers, and anything else we might have selected, as well as a package XML that we can use for deployment through the command line tool or through any other tool. It also generated the offline symbol table. Like I said, this is basically the SDK for Apex development. So all the classes you would expect are here. The Apex pages namespace, standard controller, standard set controller, the database namespace, the batchable interface, the system namespace, pretty much everything that you use on a daily basis. Additionally, all the S objects have been generated into stub Apex classes. These look like the, you would expect to use them from Apex, SQL, or SOSL, with all fields and relationships represented. Now we can navigate to our source code that was fetched. For example, base package class. I just used ideas, go to class feature, and I can use things like camel case completion here in order to navigate to it. Idea also now knows, as well as Illuminated Cloud, about all identifiers, classes, fields, methods, and as you can see, can show all usages because it's built an offline symbol table. We can also show some of the features of completion and formatting. As you can see, at this point, the project's ready to go. I'll expand on the other features like completion, navigation, and integration with other features from IDEA such as version control, task management, in other video sessions. Thank you.